What's going on, fellas? I have a free training coming up on three secrets how to make a woman fall in love with you. I'm going to give you three secrets to teach, teach you that, you know, can make women fall in love with you. You're not going to want to miss this. It's free. Sign up. Link in the bio, the description, or the comments, wherever you see this at. If you're a guy who struggles to keep women around for a long time, if you're a guy who struggles to make it out of the honeymoon phase of dating, you know where it's two, three months, and then the girl go ghost. If you're a guy who struggles maintaining attention and attraction over a long term, if you're a guy who struggles trying to maintain a rotation of girls and keeping them there for a long time, if you're a guy who's trying to get into a long-term serious relationship, this is the place you need to be August 25th, three secrets to make a woman fall in love with you. You do not want to miss this. Come get this free game. The first green flag, the first good quality that you should look for to take a, see if you can take a woman serious is accountability. This is huge accountability. Does she has the ability to take responsibility for the things that happened to her in her life? If she lacks this, it's going to be hard for you, right? There will always be bad behavior and disrespect because there will always be an excuse for it, right? It will always be a reason to why she did this, why she's doing this. Basically, as to other people's behavior controls her behavior. You understand what I'm saying? When you have a woman who can't take accountability for the things that happen to you, well, not to you, but to her. When you have a, a woman who can't take accountability for the things that happen to her, what happens is they tend to find themselves in a lot of bad situations, right? And if your feelings are invested, your energy invested, your time is invested, your money is invested, this these situations are going to affect you as well. You see what I'm saying? And it's not going to change because there's no accountability, right? There's no accountability. And if you can't learn, right? If you can't learn from your mistakes, then you'll never fix your mistakes. You'll never fix your wrongdoings. And the reason that you can't learn is because you don't think that they're there. You don't see them to be there. She's not going to see that. Maybe she's disrespectful because she has some trauma that she needs or she has some insecurities that she needs to feel or, or she has some insecurities that she needs to fix or she has some voice that she needs to feel on her own or maybe she needs therapy. She's not going to understand that, right? And so in order for her to not do it, you gonna have to change what you doing, right? But that ain't gonna be good enough. It's gonna always be a reason to why she's behaving the way that she's behaving. You know, and generally, a lot of women don't really have a, accountability. Um, generally, right? There's a lot of women who don't have a com accountability. And for me personally, that X is out a lot of women because I, again, I can't, me personally, and you shouldn't either, I couldn't be with a woman who's not accountable for her actions, right? It's almost like they don't even have a conscience, right? When they do something, when they do something bad to you, and that's another, that's another a motivator to do bad things for you when there's, there's no conscience there because somebody else is the problem. You made me do this. He made me cheat. He wasn't showing me love. You know, he was neglecting me. He was working too much. He was not, I'm a slut and I can't control myself and I, I'm not brave enough to, to end a relationship. It's you, right? And so when somebody ain't don't feel bad about the things that they do, when they don't have a moral compass and a conscience, they're more than likely to do them these bad things, these disrespectful things. So if if a woman don't have accountability, like the, like the, 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 the home you said in New York, she a dub, she out. You feel me? Now, the way to spot, the way to spot if a woman has accountability or not, ask her about past breakups, ask her about previous breakups. You see what I'm saying? What happened in your last relationship? Like what happened in your last relationship? If this guy is the monster, 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 and again, a lot of the times women don't like to face their shit, but if you, if you not back them into a corner, but if you kind of assert it yourself in a way to say, hey, okay, you tell me what he did, not what you did. If the woman can tell you nothing that she did wrong, she more than likely have accountability issue, right? Now, sometimes women are 
have been with monsters. Sometimes good women end up with monster guys, right? Um, that that happens, right? But by and large, a lot of the times, it's two people who's contributing negatively to a situation. And if she can't tell you what she did wrong, then it's more than likely that she's not an accountable accountable person. Also, you want to listen to her problems, right? As you get more into the courtship of vetting her and stuff like that, you want to listen to her problems. Listen to the things that she complain about, right? Listen to what happened at work. Listen to when she get in trouble. Listen to the bad situations that happen to her in her life. Because if the more you talk to a woman, the more you get to know a woman, they're going to start dumping a mess on you, right? And so listen to it, right? When you're listening, you want to listen to her perspectives on these problems, Right? If everybody's the reason why she can't get a job or everybody's the reason why she can't keep a job or keep her lights on or keep gas in her car or she's falling out with all of her friends, her girlfriend doing this, her girlfriend doing that. If she can never do any wrong, she more than likely have an accountability issue. Now, again, people are going to feel like if, if somebody has an issue with something or somebody has a conflict with work, their partner or whatever, people are going to stand up for themselves and they have an argument and they have an issue. So just because she's telling you her issue or what her problem was, it doesn't necessarily mean she can't take accountability, but you want to listen to her perspective on it. If everybody's always attacking her, if everybody's the reason that she's in this position that she in, then you know that there's a, an accountability uh, problem, right? Is she making herself the victim? Right. If you're talking to a woman, you're getting to know her, you seem like, man, this bitch always playing the victim all of the time. Right. For sympathy or for attention or whatever. This woman more than likely has an accountability issue. So, that, again, that's number one. You want to look for accountability in a woman. And this is huge. If a woman doesn't have accountability, if she can't take accountability for her actions, it's going to ruin your relationship ultimately. You understand what I'm saying? Because everything that she does is going to be somebody else's fault. It's going to be your fault. It's going to be this fault and this person's fault and this person's fault. And there's nothing motivating her to not be bad. Right? This lack of account of this lack of accountability shields them from the feelings of shame and guilt from making bad decisions. Right? It's hard to look yourself in the mirror to, to accept the things that you do, to accept the things that, you know, you do to put yourself in bad spaces. So if you have a woman like this who can't accept these things, there's nothing motivating her for her to do good by you. You see what I'm saying? There's nothing motivating her to treat you right. Right? When she does wrong by you, when she does wrong by you, she's going to excuse it and excuse it and excuse it and excuse it. So pay attention to women who can't be accountable and look for the ones who, if you got a woman who, if you could talk to her and you can see that she's accountable for her actions, you need to lock in on her. I ain't say lock her in and marry her right then and there, but your antenna should go up and say, okay, I need to be paying more attention to this in a good way. You feel me? 